Hi, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another exciting episode of First, you remember I said to you that th this business has three components pattern making, molding, and casting, metal casting. So, what I intend to do is to walk you through pattern making. Um, to understand pattern making as I use it, I have here a pattern which was made for a specific purpose, and this was part of a a machine in a factory that had this anvil was broken. So what they would bring to me was the broken pieces and asked me to rebuild it back for them. With it, using a series of drawing out and measurements, I did a drawing and um, proceeded to build this pattern which is made as a case made from wood. Perfected and, and satisfied, it goes to the molding section, which I will take you to at another point, and then from there to the casting section, which I will take you to on another occasion. But for this one, having created the pattern and making this, we go to the molding and the casting. At the end of the casting, we come up with a replica of what the pattern is like. If you notice that this is clearly showing that this is a direct copy from wood to metal. Now, if you think of that really closely, you will realize that everything that you see from an engine to a wheel, it all started out this way. It started from a design, from the design to the pattern, and onto the molding and the casting, to the machining, fitting, and it goes on. So, this is now being made original. At the same time, what I'm doing here today is I am going to copy something that already exists. And for that purpose, I am going to create a mold for this concrete decorative column. Let me show you what it looks like. And you'll probably see these on the buildings, balusters, like on the edge. So this will be made from, this is one already made from concrete. What I'm doing is, you know, fixing up any little ear that is cheap, best as possible, smooth it down, and then I'm going to use a process of fiberglass. Because what I really need from there is a negative of that shape. So when I put it together in this negative shape, when I fill it with cement, I will be getting a, a positive um, product like this. A lot, lot needs to be known about the fiberglass. It's a very technical material. It's a, this is actually glass. It's, this is made from blown glass, which is blown out so fine that you don't realize it, that it's actually glass. And you could say that the same thing is like with steel wool. Steel wool is blown out of a solid piece of iron, but because it's strong so fine, we can actually use doing steel wool like that, and not thinking of it. Uh, it is used in a particular way where there's a chemical, two chemicals. There's a resin, which is 
is a resin. I'll refer to you. It's, it's just a chemical. Chemical reaction take place. So the resin here in this case will be mixed with a catalyst, which is are going to get R. You have about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes working time, depending on how quick you set it to dry up. So you would mix it up and you would begin to saturate the surface of this with it. At which point you would get the fiberglass. The matting, and this is called the matting, which you would now proceed to put all over the surface of it. And I uh, would be a better example when I'm actually doing it. But you're actually going to copy this. You, you, you press it down with a brush, with a resin, and so it takes up the shape. And as it takes up the shape, it dries and becomes hard. An example of a piece of fiberglass work because you could find a piece. That's a piece just okay. <coughs> if you look at it closely, it's you can actually be seen through it, but it's it's fiberglass, and this is a combination of a resin mixed together and that matting surface, and it would. You could create a neck, a mold, and this is a mold. You'd see the patterns of a leaves or something in it. They have, have some little movie where they have a competition every year. This are, these are turning a little bit to the artistic side of the, 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 the what we learn. So, for example, can you see this good? This is an artist. Um, for a piece of artwork by an artist and it is a, a mass, a ceremonial mass. I don't know what it depicts but I would get the snow from that artist in clay. I would make a mold from that clay with using plaster Paris and then in that mold I would cast plaster again so I get out the first one looking like this which is actually plaster of Paris and it is, be it is a ex direct replica of this. From this plaster one now, I would put up this carefully and then I would work with this. So I can produce, in this case, we see it as a possible craft item for the tourism industry. So it's, it's gonna be beautifully painted in different colors and so, and we would mount them on a little flat and just create a market and uh, for a craft item. And what I realized that a lot of people has the potential in them. They like you see this youth, you know, they say, make a mask, me, see a piece of clear, blank. You never can tell me for the first time him discover say. Him can't do this thing, and him no one can't do it. Him like it, like the, like the girl we, we, or the running where we put her on the now. A young girl in it, you know, she got a pen really out of it, you know. Because the first day when them said she could run, her mother said, no, it's actually too little, she can't run, she, she can't manage it. And we said, make her go on and do what she can do. No one be where she come in. In a female, she come in second. This is weird. And a big. She can't, like nine year old, and she from that she continue, continue till she goes to school, take her over. You see her the other day, and she come to her, say she has got a pen really in her foreign girl room, and she has to do it. Alright, so thanks guys for watching this week episode of Growing Up in Jamaica, which we featured Mr. Nakir here.
So thank you so much for doing the interview with me today. So okay, it's always a pleasure to have you guys all guys on. No problem. All right. So you thank guys you. Don't, don't forget to like this video, comment your views, and subscribe to the channel. Also share with your friends so others can learn about what he has taught you today. All right? Take care.